Abadi, and I'm a fourth year student at the University of Toronto studying human biology and biochemistry. And today I'm going to show you how to make butter using equipment that you can find in your kitchen. You might have seen videos before of people making butter, and in the past they used something called a butter churn, which looks like this. Butter is made by mixing cream until the butter solid separates out of the liquid. Cream has a lot of fat inside of it, and we use fats from the foods we eat to store energy for when our bodies need it. Fats can be found in foods like seeds, meat, cheese, and of course, butter. So after this experiment, we're going to learn why we can take cream, which is a liquid, and turn it into butter, which is a solid all because of fat molecules. To start our butter making process, we're going to take some heavy cream that has come up to room temperature and we're going to also need a glass jar with a lid. You can use any size glass jar you want as long as it's something that you can shake. So for this experiment, you don't really need any measurements. Um, it really depends on how much butter you want to get at the end. You just want to make sure that you have a lot of room left over in your jar so that you can shake it and the butter will form. Less than five minutes of shaking, we've already formed whipped cream. So this is what it looks like so far. So we're not done yet. At this point, we still need to keep shaking. So we'll get an update soon. Okay, so after about three more minutes of shaking, here is our next update. So we can see we've already got the formings of butter at the bottom of the jar, and the liquid is actually buttermilk. So we're gonna keep shaking for a little bit longer and then we'll get the butter out of the jar. Okay, so we've shaken our cream for a total of about 10 minutes. So the time will be different for everybody. It depends on how much cream you use at the beginning and the temperature of your cream. So if your cream is right out of the fridge, it's gonna take a little bit longer for the butter to form. But if you use room temperature cream like we did, the butter's going to form pretty quickly. <laughs> So to answer this question, we need to look at the nutrition facts label for cream and milk. So this first picture here is for cream. We can see that in one tablespoon of cream, there's five grams of fat. But when we look at the label for milk, we can see that there's the same amount of fat in one cup of milk. This means that cream has a much higher amount of fat in it than milk does. Since butter is made from the fat, we can only use cream to make the butter because there's not enough fat in the milk for the butter to form. All right, so now we're going to pour our butter mixture into our strainer. So our strainer is going to catch all of these solid butter pieces and the liquid, which is buttermilk, is going to move into the bottom of my container. So don't throw out your buttermilk. You can use it for cooking um, and things like pancakes and waffles. So here we go. Now the big question is, how did we get butter from cream? Well, imagine if inside the cream we had these tiny fat molecules that are floating around all by themselves. When we shake the cream really hard, this makes the fat molecules bump into each other and they stick together to form the solid butter. So now normally in the cream, the fat molecules don't stick together and we just have a liquid. And this is because there are other things inside of the cream that cover the fat molecules in something like a skin so that when they bump into each other, they can move apart without sticking together. 
But when we shake the cream, these fat molecules bump into each other really hard, and this can break the skin that was covering them so that they clump together. And this is why we get solid butter, because this solid is all of these fat molecules coming together and clumping together. So now you might be wondering why the butter didn't dissolve back into the buttermilk when we kept shaking it. And that's because butter and water don't mix. So our butter is something called hydrophobic. This means that it's afraid of the water. So butter and water, which would be our buttermilk, don't mix together. So our butter will always stay solid. Fats are super important for our body. They are used to store energy so that we can stay active without having to eat every time we want to do something. Fats are also super important because they are used to help build our cells. So fats are used to make the membrane which covers our cells and acts like a security guard to protect them. It makes sure that only the things our cells need to live and grow can move into the cell. I hope you learned a lot about why fats are so important for our bodies and you try making butter at home. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok to see some more cool experiments.